It's time now for Investigation Out. And today, wait, hang on a second, what's going on here? What are you doing? Oh, there you are, Chris! Son. What are you doing? I'm having a little dance party with Mr Grumbles. Didn't you get your invite? No, I didn't get my invite. Perhaps it got lost. Anyway, it's not time for dancing. It's time for Investigation Ouch. But that's what we're doing. Today's Investigation Ouch is all about busting some moves. Come on, Chris. Class has already started. We're going to be in so much trouble. No, we're not, Chris, because I will enter silently as a ninja. Shh, quiet at the back. Have we missed anything? We're doing a super move experiment. You might have been doing super movers in your school too. The BBC has teamed up with the Premier League to inspire kids to be more active and to supercharge lessons. The theory is that exercise equals brain power, but is that true? Today in our class we're going to be active and the other class is going to be inactive and we're going to try to see what the difference is. Oh, so you're doing an experiment comparing two classes? Do you want to join in? I'd love to join in. I'll be back in a minute. Ta-da! <laughs> Don, what are you wearing? You've got to look the part if you're doing an experiment on being active. So, how will this experiment work? We'll get split up into groups. Zandi will be with us, with the active team, doing a lot of super movers. Yes! Now, what am I meant to be doing? You are going to be in the inactive class, doing no super movers. Let's get this experiment started. Both groups start the experiment by matching up as many numbers and symbols as we can in 90 seconds. We'll repeat the test at the end of the experiment to see whether our results change. My group kick off being active with a visit from Leicester City FC's Philbert the Fox and his eight times table super movers. 16, 24, 32. The idea is that by keeping active, I'm getting my brain stimulated and it's going to stick better in my head. And I have to say, it seems to be working. It's a traditional lesson for my group, but after about 30 minutes, I'm having to make an effort to concentrate. But does this mean I'm not learning as much as Zahn? My group stay active all day doing PE and using Supermovers videos in all our lessons. Working up a sweat, Zahn. I feel really alert. But how's everyone else getting along? I'm not allowed to run. I have to and I'd be very, very chill. It feels a bit hard. And I'm starting to struggle with my focus and concentration. Why do you think I'm finding it hard to concentrate? Because you are active and your brain won't um, focus. We'll see. Three hours after we first did it, we repeat this morning's test of matching as many numbers and symbols as we can in 90 seconds. At the start of the experiment, both groups were roughly the same, making about 40 matches. But at the end, the inactive group had increased to 44. What's going on? Maybe we were wrong. Not so fast, Chris. The Super Movers group also increased, but to an average of 48 matches. So the Super Movers group's brains were working faster. Your group just improved because they were familiar with the test. Let's see why the active group did better. Exercise boosts your learning abilities because when you're active, your heart pumps faster and faster. And this sends more blood to your brain. Blood is packed with useful nutrients and oxygen molecules, so more blood means even more molecules to help your brain think quicker. Just a few minutes of exercise every day could help improve your learning and concentration skills. Well, thank you, Supermovers, for boosting my brain. Now, we're going to be back later on in the series to find out about the long-term effects of exercise on the brain. So keep moving. Come on, Lazy Bones, keep moving. Jiggle, jiggle.